Hi, I'm James from the Science on the Road department at Carnegie Science Center. Welcome to the Something to Watch series where we offer fun and educational science videos for kids, parents, and teachers. Like the rest of the Science Center team, I'm currently at home practicing social distancing. When I'm out visiting schools, libraries, and other places though, one of the questions I get all the time is why is the sky blue? It's a very good question, maybe the oldest question in the world. The answer is surprisingly simple, and you can see it for yourself in an experiment you can do right in your very own kitchen. For this experiment, I filled a clear container with water. It's best to use a container with flat sides like I have here. Next, you'll need a white flashlight. It's important that your flashlight is white and not yellow. Finally, you'll need a very small amount of milk. The reason you need a white flashlight is because white light is a mixture of all of the different colors of light. When you break apart all the colors in white light, it creates a rainbow. And I can show you this effect if I hold this prism filter right over the front of my camera. If you look to the left and the right of the flashlight, you can see the little rainbows. The same thing happens with sunlight. When the light from the sun hits a raindrop, the colors that make up white light are broken apart. The droplet acts as the prism and spreads out a rainbow across the sky. The interesting thing about all of this is that the sun is actually white. The reason the sun looks yellow from the earth is the exact same reason the sky is blue. The earth's atmosphere, the air around our planet, scatters different parts of that white light in different ways. And that brings us to my experiment. I'm going to pour just enough milk into my water to make the water cloudy. Let's see what happens when I shine the flashlight through. The flashlight looks a little more yellow in the center than it did before. That's because some of the blue light is being scattered by the milk, just like the atmosphere scatters blue. And if you look around the yellow, you might see a halo of blue. So just like our atmosphere, the blue light is being spread out and the yellow light goes through just a little bit better. So next time you look up in the sky, remember the sky is blue and the sun looks yellow thanks to the scattering of light all throughout Earth's atmosphere. Now that's all the time I have for today, but next time you come to Carnegie Science Center, come up to the Buell Planetarium. You can learn a lot about our star, our sky, and our universe by taking in a show. Until then, log on to carnegiesciencecenter.org for more things to watch, things to read, and things to do at home.